These are the three hooks we use to guarantee responses in our cold email campaigns. After generating millions of dollars from our cold email campaigns, I can tell you the number one lesson that I've learned is that 99% of people don't read past the first line of text. So you should be spending the majority of your efforts in crafting your outbound messaging campaign on this first hook. The first type of hook that we use is what I call the we saw you there hook. This hook works incredibly well if you're scraping leads online. So most of the time when we're trying to find an email to scrape online, we'll go to a certain website such as Google or Zillow or Facebook ads library, and we'll be able to find the email address from that original source. But then we use that source in our email campaign. So in the first line of text, we might say something like, Hey, I saw you on Zillow that you were the top real estate agent in Atlanta, and this is why I'm reaching out now. Or another example is, I saw you on the first page of Google for plumbers in Atlanta, and I needed to tell you this. Both of these examples have a much higher response rate because the person reading the email thinks that you've actually spent much more time sending them that personal email, and they don't think that you sent out thousands of the exact same email to people just like them. The second type of hook that we use is what I call the you're spending too much hook. This works really well if you're able to identify that your leads are using your competitors products or services that are probably inferior to yours. For example, back when I had an advertising agency, I used to specifically email real estate agents who use Zillow because I knew what Zillow's pricing was and I knew their long-term contracts. So I'd send them an email and say, hey Bob, I'm resending this message because I know that you're currently paying $3,500 a month to Zillow, locked in a 12-month contract and not getting any results and I have an option that's better, faster, and cheaper. So what this does is it shows Bob that I know exactly what he's going through and that I have a problem that's better, faster, and cheaper. And it resonates with Bob and leads to a higher response rate because he thinks I sent that message specifically only to him. And the third type of hook we use is the I notice you didn't have hook. This type of hook requires a little more upfront work, but in my experience, it has the highest response rate of all three. When you're finding your leads online, typically what you should be looking for is what they are lacking because you're gonna provide what they're lacking in your product or service. So if I was offering, let's say, sales funnel creation or website creation, for different brands or different online companies, I may go to their website, see what their website looks like, or see if they even have a sales funnel to begin with. And then I might send them an email that says, hey, I noticed you didn't have a sales funnel attached to your ads, or I noticed that you were sending people from your ads directly to your homepage, which has been shown to convert a lot lower. So I'm identifying to them that they have a problem that I'm able to solve, and I might even say how much money they're actually leaving on the table. For example, in the same one that I just gave a moment ago, I might say, hey, I saw your ad online, and I clicked on it, and I went to your homepage. Did you know that the average conversion rate on a homepage is 1%, and the average conversion rate on a sales page is 5%. So you're leaving up to five times the amount of money that you're making every single month on the table by not having a sales funnel. And if you notice there, I actually use two hooks in one. The I found you here hook, which is the first one we were talking about, and the you didn't have hook, which is the third one that we talked about there. If you got value out of the video, be sure to smash the subscribe button and let me know down below if you have any more cold messaging questions. What may come as a shock to most people is that nobody wants to read a cold email. So one of the only ways that you can hook somebody in to reading the rest of your email is if you leverage the first one or two sentences to make it as personalized as possible. Having a hyper-personalized first one to two lines has been shown to three to five times our open rate and our response.